Next contestant is a special dude. The very first pun off was here in 1978, and he was here. Still kicking after all these years. Mr. Bert Peabone. Peabone? 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 T-Bone, T-Body, any, I'll take them all. I've been, I've been producing this event for 25 years and I'm running out of ways to mispronounce his name. <laughs> but uh, we keep trying. And, and of course, nobody's, nobody's more trying than I am, right? And he's the big cheese and he has more way than I am anyhow. So. I always have my way. That was a good one. <laughs> my physical therapist angrily told me I had to work on my abs. Don't know why he was raising such a flab. Uh, he claimed I could have a belly so flat that old men could play abdominoes on it. And that my belly would be hard like that of Michelangelo's King David so that I could snow ski on it. Oh, Absalom, Absalom, I guess. I decided to refrain from painting fake muscle ripples on my belly. It would leave an ab stain. My therapist wants me to stay away from my favorite pastries. He treats me like a thief, but I wouldn't abscond with anything. It's not that I think it's a hopeless case, I just object to the exercises. I detest people who compete for prize money on the basis of their physiques. I'm no abhor. If the therapist just forgot about this, that would be an ab solution, wouldn't it? He likes to inflict pain, like a dentist who loves to pull teeth an obsessive compulsive. The therapist said I could be thin enough to slide through an air conditioning vent. If I got trapped, that would be an abduction. I'm not trying to be weird. I'm speaking to you from my guts, making this aberration. Well, I don't intend to hold my abs in. I'm ab out, finished with this anyway. In closing, I wonder how many of you thought I was talking about what's on my iPhone. Eight, seven, eight, nine, five, eight. I'm gonna take a little break here. Thank you. Thank you, Bert Peabone. Uh, take a little break here for a second and talk about the Friends of O'Hill.